All right, here's what we got going. The gauges are all working. Everything is working from the 86 cluster into 77. So, temperature gauge is reading right under two. That's about 190, 200. At least that's what I'm, what I'm thinking it is. But at least it's under the halfway mark, and that's where it should be. That's about 190, I guess. And that's what my, that's what the uh, Cindy unit is telling me. At a 260 ohms, that correlates to 190 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's all good with me. But I actually don't know what happened here. I had a, uh, I had a new Cindy unit the next day after I took took back the old the big uh, half inch sender I put in the thermostat house. I went ahead and took that back, and I got me a 3 8 inch temperature sender for 86 Caprice. But then I uh, cross-referenced the num part number back, and it goes in the 77 Caprice, 87 Caprice, 84 Camaro. So it, it's all, they all, of course, they, they, all, they, they all, they all go to the same stuff, the same shit, the same car. So I was just making sure I was getting the right part number, not something that was weird. But the first one I got was messed up. It was giving me, it was pegging thing all the way up here straight across so it was working fine it was giving me high reading and then the next day I was messing with it and then uh pegged to the right after I cleaned up all the connections sanded the resistor down behind this gauge a little bit to give it a better bite and then the, I checked the uh the temperature sender and it was it was uh it was giving me zero ohms like no it wasn't giving me nothing or either it was all over the place Cause little the electrical tab on it, it was uh it was loose, so I wasn't getting a getting a, ah, getting a good connection. So I went ahead and took it back. This is my replacement part right here, Borg Warner, BWD, Advanced Auto Parts. Hurt, folks, damn it, focus. WT 359Z coolant temp center part number. Y'all, if y'all looking for one for y'all's Caprice or any small black Chevy GM, so that's what's going on. And I uh, checked all my wires, grounds, and everything, traced them back, and they all got good continuity. Checked it with the multimeter. A multimeter will come in handy you, if you ain't got one, get one. It comes, it comes in handy. All like all, I, I only thought I was gonna get it. I got it a while back, just for I think I was checking battery or something, and it's I've been using it. For every little thing I can, trying to you know find wires, find where they go. But anyways, the way I got it right here, green wire going to the center. I'm gonna get a new connection for it. Right now, I just got the wires around the terminal, and I got got a zip tie to the spark plug. That way, it stays away from the exhaust uh, manifold. It won't burn up. But yeah, that's it. Thought I'd share that with you. Try not to make a too long video because long videos will bore the hell out of somebody. But this is what it should look like when you get it. But this right here is my old temperature switch for the warning light in my old, in the 77 cluster. But it should look like something like that. And if you go to get one that goes in the uh, in the cylinder head, make sure you get the 3 8 inch uh, thread, 3 8 inch size. Don't get the half inch because it won't it won't fit into the head. So get the smaller one like this. But that's it. All right, y'all. Y'all take it easy.